If you haven't seen the recent video from Minecraft, we now have a 2025 April Fool's update, which is amazing. I love it. It is the Craft Mine update, and I'm going to be showing you how to look at the source code for this block here, the Mine Crafter. All right, so it's super easy to do in Fabric. Let me just get a four word off. Uh, forge and Neo Forge, I could not figure that out. So we're just going to do Fabric for now, because, um, yeah, it actually uh, makes sense. So... I was already looking at some stuff, so sorry about uh, spoilers. For this, we are just going to replace the Minecraft version, 25W14 Craft Mine. And usually you could just stop there, but we want to change the mappings. And the reason for that is because if we don't, um, I could show you. So if you're trying to find the source code for the Minecrafter, it's going to be slightly more difficult, not super difficult. You can still understand that, okay, this is the Minecrafter being registered here, and this is the field that it's going to be called by in other places, and this is the class that it uses. You can figure all that out, but using yarn mappings, it's not super intuitive exactly what's what. So we're just going to get rid of them. Um, we're going to comment this out. And we're going to do mappings, mojang mappings. And then we reload this. We'll search this back up in a moment. So that's loaded. We'll do blocks again. So yeah, as soon as we look it up, I, I, since I was already here, it took me right back to it. But mine underscore crafter, now it actually says mine underscore crafter, mine crafter block. So you go into the mine crafter block, you see that it has a codec like every everything else, basically, at this point of Minecraft. Uh, you see a couple of its methods, and then a layer deeper, you can see Minecrafter block entity. We can go into this. Uh, this is a menu providing block entity from what I'm aware because it's being called right here, player.openmenu, Minecrafter block entity. So somewhere in here, it's going to tell you about a menu and you can kind of see what it's doing and you see a new block like mine traveling block. Okay, what does this do? It's another block entity. Has a lot of stuff that it's doing, has some data saved to it, what dimension it's in, if it should render a certain phase. So whole lot of stuff going on. This stuff can be really amazingly useful. Uh, if you go back on my channel, you'll see I did a similar video to this last year about the 24W14 potato update of Minecraft, which was the uh, potato dimensions and um, well, there was a poisonous potato uh, potato gun and the um, some moving flying thing. A whole bunch of cool stuff in these April Fool's updates. And you can just look into the source code and kind of make it your own, do what you want with it. Uh, make a new thing out of it, you know, anything like that. So thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for next year's. <laughs>